Hey friends, here is camera girl Helena and my new experiment of creating beautiful cinematic shots with help of non-light lighting equipment. I'm a huge fan of amazing epic movies, and we can't argue with that fact that Chinese director Chen Imo is one of the best representatives of this genre. By the way, he's my favorite director for more than 10 years. His movie's shots look simply gorgeous and inspiring for me as a filmmaker. Of course, we can admit that creation of such visuals requires enormous talent, absolutely professional team and really big budget. A crazy idea just popped into my head. I will make such scene not in a palace, even not in a studio, and without a big crew. I will make this scene right here in the room with two models, with a few helpers, and the main thing with nine light lighting setup. I'm sure that one of the most important parts of every cinematic frame is light. So, thanks to it and a few filmmaking tricks, I will turn this bedroom into a real oriental palace. And I hope after watching this, Genemo will take me into his crew. I was inspired by unbelievable visuals of movie Shadow by Jan Emo and DOP Jiao Saudin. Every frame looks like it was painted with black and gray ink. Thanks to decorating, the actors turned to real shadows. That's why we have a pretty difficult task. Let's start with camera setup and a few filmmaking tricks which will help us in creating our oriental palace. So, camera setup is I use Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro and also two lenses. First is says 18mm with aperture 3.5 and the second one is my favorite says 50mm CF2 with aperture 1.4. I have this beautiful wooden Chinese chandelier. I want to use it as a miniature of our never-ending corridors um, in palace. I removed uh, a few sections from it and uh, put a dark laces instead. Thanks to transparency of the laces, we will see our models through it. Seems like there are big arcs in the foreground. Okay, so here's our frame now. I think this is pretty nice effect and, you know, uh, the more I work with miniatures, the more I realize that this kind of technique is even more timeless than any CGI. Okay, next I want to hide all inappropriate zones of my background with help of white cloth and white uh, wallpaper. And uh, for such needs, I have a uh, stance by Nanlight LSC330, so I'm not afraid that something could fall. Here is our frame now. Uh, it looks not so cool, so let's continue. The only special furniture I have for this shooting at my home are these two folding screens. They are wooden and uh, they will help me to create a labyrinth look for our palace. Okay, so let's check our frame now. Yeah, I think it looks much better. And the next thing is transparent cloth. I want to put it on our folder screens to finish our palace labyrinth. I want to paint this transparent cloth uh, with black color to add even more interesting shadows. I think it's pretty nice. Other magic we will create with help of non-light lighting. As we work with movie shadow, we need a lot of beautiful and interesting shadows. First, I want to add some uh, light reflections to our wooden surface of palace miniature. I will make it with help of PowerTube 2 15X. The intensity, I think, 15%, yes, and the temperature 5600. Now I want to add some backlight to our palace miniature. I will make it with help of PowerTube 2 15X. The temperature will be 5600 and the intensity 
For our backlighting, I use two power tubes 30C by Nonlight with 6500 temperature and 30% of intensity. And to finish with our wall, I want to add some special pattern uh, with help of Forza 60B and projection lens. Okay, so our next step, I want to add some special glow to a white wallpaper and I make it with help of power tube to 15X. Uh, the intensity of it I made 30% and the temperature is 5600. Then I want to add the same special glow to our white cloth, which is on the opposite side. I will make it with help of Forza 300B. Here it is. Uh, the temperature will be the same, 5600, and the um, intensity will be 20%. Also, this source of light and this white cloth will be a fill light for our actress's face. I think it's time to check our frame. Come here. So, I think our Oriental Palace is ready. Let's shoot it right now with beautiful models. I use three sources for my model's lighting. There are Nonlight FS200 with softbox as our key light for men's and girls' faces from the right. Then Forza 300B, which stays behind white cloth that works as a diffuser from the left. Also, I added backlight to the girl's hair with help of Little Light 5C. I placed it on a crane stand behind the decorations. I'm curious about our result, so I think it's time to check it. I think my room transformed in pretty nice oriental palace. And everything thanks to creativity and non-light lighting. Could you imagine what I can create in real palace? I hope this video was inspiring for you, friends. I'm Elena Gutkova. That's all for now and till the next time.